Hey friends, it's Dr. Amy, the Dizzy PT. I'm here today to tell you a little more about how I use infrared video goggles in my evaluation and treatment with vestibular rehab. So this is the goggles, first of all. Give you guys a look. And they just strap on over the head. They are connected to my computer screen. So as you can see, camera in real time will show me what the patient's eyes are doing. You can see inside there is a camera for each eye and that's what will be showing up on the screen. So I'm gonna put these on and then explain to you guys what we're looking for. So you should be able to see my eyes up on the screen now. It is completely dark in here for me, so I'm just gonna trust that you can see it. The reason we use these infrared cameras are so that the eyes are not able to focus or fixate on any particular target. So as I'm looking around in here, I'm not able to see anything, but you can get a clear view of my eyes. I'll often have my patients look side to side and look up and down so we can get some baselines for how their eyes move. We're looking for any abnormal eye movements as they do these motions. Now, if I were just looking at their eyes in room light, I wouldn't always be able to see these movements because if our eyes are able to focus on something, then those abnormal movements might diminish. So these goggles are very useful for vestibular rehab to get a better idea of what the eyes are actually doing without that target to focus on. So as you can see, get a pretty good view of the eyes. When we do different head motions, we see different movements occurring with the eyes and that's all normal movement. We use these goggles for all sorts of positional tests and other vestibular testing to get a better idea of how to identify what's going on and the best treatment for that particular patient and what's causing their vertigo or dizziness. So that's what those goggles do. That's how we use them in vestibular rehab as part of our assessment and treatment plan. Reach out to me if you have any questions, the dizzypt at gmail.com or message me through the Facebook page, the dizzypt. Thanks for watching and following along.